Good afternoon everybody, this is Dominic with the NRL 22. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a match within the practice score website so that you can have your shooters registered through the website as well as taking the match registration from the practice score website and importing it directly into your tablet. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the practice score website which is practicescore.com once there and you've set up your club information you're going to go underneath clubs and then you're going to go ahead and select the club that you manage once you're there you're going to go ahead and click on add new match once you click on that it'll take you to this page right here so i already pre-filled everything out to make everything easier and here we have a couple different things that you can do and explains to you what each one means. Uh, most match directors end up leaving all this open. Um, the only time you would really use a hidden results um, is uh, if you really want to just make the, the results themselves private. The group registration right here for the match details will allow a group of shooters to register as well as squad together. However, most match directors leave this blank. So for this video, we named the match as test match. The start date is going to be July 16th. Time of the match is at 0830. Um, I put me specifically, I put the start time, the time that I end up sending rounds down range which in this case would be the mandatory um, zeroing time, not the actual match time. I will include that in the actual match details further on down. For end date and time, you're gonna end it on the same date, and typically most NRL 22 matches uh, last about four to five hours, and depending on the intricacies of the match, as well as however many shooters you have. Match registration opens uh, to whatever date you want it to. You can do it the day before, or you can do it two months out, three months out, doesn't matter. I typically do mine the same day as my previous match. So in this case, for this example, my match would be June 18th, same day as my match that I would be hosting. This will be the same day that the registration opens up for the following month. The reason for that is, is while your shooters are at your match and you do your match brief, you can go ahead and announce that and then that affords them the opportunity either during the match or after the match to go ahead and register for next month's match. Your registration closes. Typically you wanna do this either the morning of or the night before um, and before your match so that it allows you to import your match into your tablets as well as sync your tablets. You can go ahead and click this right here for allow waitlist. This will allow you to have shooters still register, uh, but be put on a wait list in the event that you consistently sell out your matches. Status, you wanna keep this as open. This means that anybody who is searching underneath the matches right here can type in NRL 22 and your match will show up or if you label it as, you know, Bob's Gun Range NRL 22, June 2022 course of fire, they search NRL 22, it'll pop up. Your affiliation, there's a lot of different affiliations. You're gonna select NRL 22, because what that does is if somebody searches underneath matches for NRL 22, it'll pop up, but also it'll give you uh, some other features when it comes time for to set up your uh, registration form. You're gonna enter a total of max shooters. In this example, I used 50. Uh, the address will be automatically filled out because this is based off of your club uh, settings when you registered your club through practice score. Your description right here is anything you want the shooter to know, specifically about your match. So how many stages you're running, distances you're shooting. Um, in my case, I put on here, you know, setup time, my safety brief, my match begins. Uh, what my match fee is and any other additional administrative information that I need my shooters to know about. You can also have your shooters pay um, ahead of time. Uh, the only way you can do that is if you have a Stripe account set up. Um, the downside with 
making it mandatory for them to sign up ahead of time is that you may have shooters that either walk up or they just won't commit to it. Um, so I don't require it, um, but they still have the option to do that. What you can also do right here is you can add a price adjustment. So you can be, give them an incentive if they want to be an NRL 22 member. If they are, they would get a $5 decrease. If they're a non-member, it would be a zero increase. Okay. So I'm just going to put this require full payment at the time of registration, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, if you did not want that on there, you can just simply click allow squatting after registration, no approval or payment requirement. Um, and you can still put this right here and it's perfectly fine. If you don't want them to, um, if you don't, if you still want them to pay online and it's going to be a mandatory requirement, then you would select require payment and approval to squat. Okay. And then this is information about your match that you want to use in the event that you, um, when you, when the email gets sent out from them. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and create our match. Now we have our test match here. Here's all of our information and here's our price. Remember I didn't make it. I did not make it mandatory to pay. That's the reason why you don't see that price adjustment. 